Such a beautiful. The dark days of lore. I was, I was, I was thinner then. You so, can pull your dick so out today. I, I, I just have a different meaning. I gave him a bunch of pictures. Hennigan here, the, the, the Scotsman, I pulled out a, I pulled my dick out in front of Bert Kreischer on a podcast two nights ago. He's I can't used remember to it. I can't remember why. We were so <laughs> fucked. I've been begging him not to air it because I don't know what I said. But Bert's I, seen Ari's dick about a hundred times. Well, so for the book, I sent a bunch of pictures with Hennigan to pick and choose, and then they took all these dick pics of me in public. And I'm like, you can't have all the picture sections, just my dick. So I had to hmm. decide. So this one, I decided on this, not having any idea it could be so perfectly timed. The top one is me with my dick out in a kilt in front of a blind guy at karaoke while oh, he's singing, having no idea. But the one below it is me starting to pull my <laughs> dick out in front of Louis C.K. <laughs> oh, my I God. I jerk off in front of the abusers. Wow. Dude, you're fighting crime. I didn't have to block the door. <laughs> he didn't block the door, <laughs> folks. By the way, that's not that's not real. Apparently, that's like something that like gets passed on, like an urban myth that juices up the story. I'm I'm saving this for uh, tomorrow. I'm doing uh, Dork Forest with Jackie Cation and Lori Kilmartin. So I'm saving the nice. bulk of my Lori Kilm uh, my uh, Louis C.K. for that, just because they're ladies. I want their fucking solid opinion. But I. I'm, I'm, I have to make this so spacious time-wise because I don't want to out the person. But I was doing comedy and I was uh, a, a comedian I, I knew back in the day when we were young in another millennium. Just blame it on Ralphie. She, she said, you're never going to guess what I just did. I just watched Louis C.K. jerk off in the ladies' room. And I went, what? She goes, yeah. I said, hey, would you? And she's like, I don't care. And as we've caught up. Many, right. many years later, she goes, yeah, I just did it because it was funny. I really, I did it because it was a right. story to tell. Right. And I said, are you coming forward? Because afterwards, when she said, when she told me that, I go, you never watched me jerk off. You're going to watch me jerk off. And I pulled my dick out and put on porn. <laughs> did she watch you? Well, no, she just said, yeah, I don't care, whatever. She, I'm like, oh, it's no hilarious. fun if you don't watch. The way I remember it is that she remembers yeah. me saying, if you don't like it, don't look. Either way, it was just a goof. She were, I think you have to stand up, too. I think what we should do to look, normalize this whole Louis C.K. thing. Hang on, this is, the important part of this is when I said, are you going to come out? She can't because she just did it because it was funny. Right, of course. And she would almost be put in a place where she would be as a, it's people like you that made him into a monster. Right. Like, right. It was, we we're just kind of a goof back then. It, no one cared. It's only weird. And it was very polite. So when I heard the Louis C.K. stories later on, I just assumed it was like that. Like, yeah, he yeah. was very polite. Hey, would you watch me jerk off? Well, I had heard from someone else. That had talked to someone and had gotten like the story from Louis and their version of it through the grapevine. So don't take this as like verbatim was something along the lines of no, it was just he thought it was silly to like pull his dick out and take pictures with them. And that I had heard that he was saying that it wasn't he didn't actually masturbate in front of them. That was like one version of it. So I was like, OK, well, maybe that was what. And then the full story came out and I was like, oh, OK. And then. Someone had said, yeah, but he asked them first. I was like, oh, boy. Okay, well, what are okay. we doing with this? This so is like, another right? important beat is we? my story happened before he was in any position of power other than comics looked up to him. He was right. still writing for comics that might have had some power at, at best. I don't think it was a power thing necessarily. I don't think but, so at but all. But if you're a man and you have a, you're alone in a room with a woman, and this is my perception of it it's always a power thing because it's fucking weird because you can kill them it's different like have you ever been around like a, a, a ufc athlete some big giant like this Francis was in a public Ngannou place kid. where you go if you if this was a tinder date this happened in a place where you'd go i want to meet you in public because i don't want to be so yeah it yeah. was completely safe yeah but if you're but alone, other times but if you're alone in a room with a man it's like being, and you know that a man has like some sexual urges directed towards you, and you're a woman. It becomes a vulnerable situation. And if there's some weird shit where someone, if let's just say someone was blocking the door, because I had heard that Louis didn't block any doors, then it becomes really crazy. Like, what do you do? Well, first of all, you're hearing. Yes. Yeah, well, it's also like, I think 
the thing that, that people have the hardest time with all of this is you never want to think that it's possible that someone would do something horrible to somebody if you liked them. Yeah. Right? Like with all of this, with any, whether it's Kevin Spacey or any of these people, like maybe you like him as an actor. I like that guy. He's great on House of Cards. Wait a minute. Is he really just terrorizing people and grabbing dicks everywhere? Shit. Yeah, I like do he makes that the people all around the time. Him. I do too. I do too. Fucking I still grab asses and dicks. Oh, that's not what I do. But oh, I, no, I, I think about it that way. At my house, when we, oh, when you guys joke, yeah, we, we had a party the other night. I go, who have I not gr groped inappropriately? Yeah. Are there, okay, wait, Gil, I haven't done it to you, and I grabbed his dick just to make sure that we're all fucking good. You never here. groped me. I'm starting to feel a little left out. Well, yeah. I don't think nothing. I don't even think you've ever gone for my butt. I'm, I'm, I might have ogled it from afar. I think you might have <laughs> spanked me once. But the point being, it's like, come on. We gotta just people have to figure out some way to interface with each other 100 percent of the time as equal and Just work on your own bullshit But when, the way you talk to people like somebody brought this up once that they had an issue with uh, a lot of this stuff Is that it's someone in the same business that's in this like position of being like a great artist like a Kevin Spacey type character or whatever and then the other person is like a PA or something like that, and he preys on them. Yeah, and it's his show, and he, they can't get away. And he's like attacking them, and they're straight, and he's gay. Absolutely that's understood. Yeah. I know that. One hundred percent. I think that's some weird, almost like reptilian instinct that humans. I have. can't tell you how many times we've had to, because you know my audience. Mm -hmm. Overserved quite a bit of the time, and when it's a girl that's alone, oh. and you can see the packs of. Guys, oh, I'll get you. you. I'll give you a ride. Where do you live? Yeah, uh, exactly. You go, all right, let's exactly. get her an Uber because I know that's going to go poorly. 